So recently in the MMA world, all things seem to be centered around Conor McGregor versus Kamaru Usman. Kamaru Usman's manager, Ali Abdelaziz, offering Conor McGregor a title shot at 170. Masvidal turning down a 170 title shot. And overall, just a complete clown fiesta in the welterweight division. I'm going to weigh in on the subject. First of all, before we get into any kind of prediction between Conor McGregor and Kamaru Usman and talk about the fight happening in general, I just want to say this. I'm sorry to hit you guys with some reality, but all of the news headlines are saying that Kamaru Usman has offered Conor McGregor a title shot at 170. I don't mean to burst anyone's fantasy bubble here, but title shots in the UFC, the biggest fight promotion in the world, I would argue, do not get offered over Twitter. I know Ali Abdelaziz says, hey, Conor McGregor, do you want a title shot? That's not quite legally binding language in a contract. I'll be honest with you guys. I hate to burst everyone's bubble here, but every single headline seems to be saying that Kamaru Usman offered McGregor a title shot and McGregor doesn't want it because he hasn't replied or has turned it down. That just simply hasn't happened. I thought I'd get that out of the way first. The UFC needs to supervise a contract being sent over. A contract in general needs to be sent over to Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor, I don't know if you know this, but is the biggest sports star maybe in the world. So over Twitter is not really the place to get business done. I don't know if they're aware of this, any of the news companies, but they seem to be running with the story because let's be real, there's no other news on right now. We're getting headlines of Jula Ravia versus Carol Rosa being announced. That's how bad the news is. We're getting absolute bullshit headlines. So whenever there is something, they're going to milk it for all it's worth. Let's talk about the fight, however. I do want to say this. Conor McGregor should not get a welterweight title shot. It would be an absolute disgrace to the sport. He's barely ranked in the welterweight division. I know he has a big win over Nate Diaz at 170, which is how Jorge Masvidal earned his title shot that he doesn't want because he's such a BMF that he's scared of the champion. That's how badass he is. Um, Conor McGregor should not get a fight at 170. Conor McGregor should not even be eligible for a fight at a for a title at 155, let alone 170. I'm a huge Conor McGregor fan. I pick him in nearly every single one of his fights. I think he's going to win every single one of his fights. I've been proved wrong more than I've been proved right recently with Khabib absolutely humiliating him. Either way, I'm a big McGregor fan. I do want to say this, it's not right for him to get a title shot at 170. I, although it would be amazing to see, and although it would be amazing to fill the gap right now because the bad motherfucker in Jorge Masvidal game-bred himself, the absolute hood, street Judas himself, does not want a title shot because he's too scared of Kamaru Usman because he's such a BMF, and we've given him that belt because of how badass he is. And he's so badass, he turns down title shots against guys that he knows he's going to lose against. Conor McGregor would take the fight with Kamaru Usman. I'm sure. If that fight was actually on the table and Conor McGregor didn't have unfinished business at 155 and he had the 155 pound belt, you're damn right he would then go after Kamaru Usman. However, we know full well that the UFC would not authorize that whatsoever. Like, I think that's pretty damn fucking obvious. Obviously, the UFC are not going to authorize the number five guy or number four guy at 155 pounds, who's barely ranked at 170, getting a 170 pound title shot. They're not even authorizing Conor McGregor to fight Justin Gaethje. If they wanted Conor McGregor to get a title, they would say, hey, Justin Gaethje, guess what? You're not fighting Khabib, you're fighting Conor McGregor and that's it. Or we'll take your belt away from you. That's what they would do if they wanted Conor McGregor to get a title shot. So clearly... This whole thing's been kind of blown out of proportion. I don't think it should happen at 170. I think it's ridiculous. I think the title is only as good and only perceived to be as good as the people that fight for it. If you're giving someone who's barely ranked in a division a title shot, how, wh how do you explain that to the casual fan? Like when they watch the title and they see the names at the bottom of the screen when the fight starts between Kamaru Usman and Conor McGregor and they see Kamaru Usman, C, champion, then Conor McGregor, number 14. How can you explain that to the fans? You can't. It's not going to happen. I'm going to give a hypothetical prediction, however. I really messed up that word. A hypothetical prediction, however. Conor McGregor would lose to Kamaru Usman. He would get completely annihilated. He would have a chance in that first round if Kamaru Usman was stupid enough to stand and trade with him. Conor McGregor would most definitely light Kamaru Usman up on the feet. If Kamaru Usman is being rocked by Colby Covington, who throws nothing behind his shots and doesn't even try and KO people, then Conor McGregor would absolutely flatten Kamaru Usman on the feet. However, I don't want people who have only just recently found out about Kamaru Usman, to think that he is the same in his Colby fight as every other fight in his career. Kamaru Usman, okay? I don't know if people have watched him for much, 
as long as I have and some other people have. But he does not fight like he does against Colby Covington. The only reason he fought like that against Colby Covington is because he thought that he couldn't take Colby down. Who knows if that was true? Who knows if it wasn't? Kamaru Usman wasn't willing to take the risk. He thought, you know what? I'll try and stand with him. I'm not going to try and tire myself out wrestling with him. I don't know the answer if I'm better than him or not. What I do know is if I catch him with enough body shots and I break his jaw, I'm probably going to win the fight. That's what Kamaru Usman went into that Colby fight knowing. Kamaru Usman going into the Conor McGregor bout will say, you know what, I'm going to double leg him immediately, I'm going to get a hold of him, I'm going to drag him to the canvas, I'm going to lay on top of him for minutes on end until he runs out of air and oxygen, then I'm going to finish him in the third or fourth round. I would pick Kamaru Usman to beat Conor McGregor by maybe fourth round TKO. Kamaru Usman doesn't really have a lot of power in his ground and pound, he isn't really known for his finishing ability, he also doesn't have quite good balance on top of guys, which you'll, you'll notice by the fact that he spreads his weight across them, doesn't do much, throws little body shots from on top of guys, he doesn't like posturing up because he knows when he does that, he's given the guy a chance to scramble and escape, which he doesn't, he, what's, the, what's the point in doing that if you're Kamaru Usman? You've got great top control, you're a huge guy for the weight class, which we'll get into in a second, why would you even give them a chance to scramble, just stay on top, pound away until they look like they're going to give up, and then take advantage of an opportunity to finish? Kamaru Usman would destroy Conor McGregor and finish him inside four rounds, in my opinion. There's no way McGregor would make the bell. I think Kamaru Usman would hand him his first TKO loss. However, as I say a lot, size is another huge factor about the fight. Conor McGregor is... Kamaru Usman is what Conor McGregor was at 145 pounds. He's almost the biggest guy at 170. McGregor was pretty much the biggest guy at 145, bar a few, but still one of the biggest guys at 145. Kamaru Usman, one of the biggest guys at 170. That is a completely different man. It's not like you're jumping up to fight Eddie Alvarez, who's the same height as you, but just a little bit thicker, Conor McGregor. You're taking on a six-foot-tall Kamaru Usman, who really shouldn't be a welterweight in the first place, okay? Like, and I know a lot of people are going to say, ah, oh, well, McGregor weight bullied at 145 and Usman's doing the same thing at 170. When you're a wrestler, you can get away with cutting that much weight. They do it throughout their entire career. They've done it since they were a kid. When you're a wrestler, you get used to the weight cut. Strikers don't, aren't used to weight cuts. That's why we see a lot of strikers. When they perform a huge weight cut, it tends to backfire more than it does against wrestlers that do a massive weight cut. Wrestlers like to be on top of you. There's no risk of them getting KO'd from their dehydrated brain when they're on top of you, controlling you, beating you up. When you're a striker, there's almost zero benefit to being bigger other than maybe being a little bit more intimidating and carrying a bit more power. I guess because when you're striking and you make that dehydrated brain and you get into that state of no juice in your brain, you're at risk because you're on the feet. You can get KO'd. That's where all the negative effects of cutting weight can come in. But when you're a wrestler and you're used to cutting weight and you want to be on top of a guy, you're not going to experience any of those weight cutting problems. Kamaru Usman would enter the cage 25 pounds bigger than Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor walks around when he goes in the cage at 170 at about 168. Kamaru Usman's probably close to 200 pounds whenever he gets in the cage. I'll be honest with you. There's no way he cuts less than 20 pounds. So he's guaranteed going to be above 190. And if Conor McGregor thinks Nate Diaz was a big match and a tough test for him at 170, Kamaru Usman would absolutely slam him on his head. Tyron Woodley, forget takedown defense because Conor McGregor's actually got really good takedown defense, got slammed around like a fucking dog toy by Kamaru Usman. Okay. Slammed around like he had no business being in there. Tyron Woodley's a great wrestler. We know that. We know he's stronger than Conor McGregor as well. If Kamaru Usman can pick up Tyron Woodley and slam him on his head, he can do that to Conor McGregor regardless of how good McGregor's takedown defense is. Conor McGregor has a real slim chance in that first round to catch Kamaru Usman being a little bit arrogant and trying to stand and trade with him. But other than that, I just don't see it happening. I don't want the fight to happen, not because I'm protecting McGregor, but because I don't want to ruin the division like that. I don't want to ruin the sport's integrity by giving a man who is barely ranked to title shots. It makes no sense. But let's talk about the rest of the welterweight division right now. What do you do? This fight ain't going to happen. McGregor and Usman is not happening. McGregor is probably going to fight Nate Diaz at 155. Or is he? Who knows if that might happen at 170 as well. I'm actually getting kind of pissed off about the whole situation right now with not fighting at your weight class. I've never understood that. I feel like if you want to get a title shot at 155, you should weigh in at 155 in your title elim elimination bout. I'm sorry. I just don't remember when Nate Diaz became a title elimination bout for Masvidal and McGregor. 
Nate Diaz, to me, as much as he's a big a big name, he's a mediocre fighter at best. He's lost to half the roster. He's beat half the roster. He's like the Michael. He's like a Michael Johnson. He's a white Mexican Michael Johnson, pretty much. He's beat some guys that you don't expect him to beat. He loses to guys that are pretty good, in general. You know, that's what Nate Diaz is. I've never understood why he's a title elimination battle, but either way, at 170, we've got Colby Covington leaving ATT. Before they kick him out. I know he says that he left on his own terms. But let's be real. If he stayed an extra few days. Dan Lambert would most definitely be kicking him out. And taking some action. Colby Covington's left ATT. Taking his name off the thing. I think Colby Covington versus Kamaru Usman 2. Might be actually happening next. There's no way Kamaru Usman. There's no way that the UFC would even let Jorge Masvidal make a Nate Diaz rematch. They would almost force his hand. Into a Kamaru Usman title shot. Because what else are they going to do? Give it to Gilbert Burns. Give it to Tyron. <laughs> Give it to Tyron Woodley. I couldn't say that with a straight face. You, you don't sell the Tyron Woodley rematch with Kamaru Usman, and I guarantee you, if Tyron Woodley beats Gilbert Burns, which I think he will do, he will be calling for that title shot. He's not going to get it. But then, what do you do with him? Do you try and remake Woodley versus Leon Edwards for a title shot? What do you do with Usman? Like, there's a whole clown fiesta in the welterweight division right now. I don't know what's going on, but I think that Usman versus Colby too might be happening. Because I have no other explanation. And I have no idea who Conor McGregor is going to face at 155. Tony Ferguson is going to be out for a while. Getting recovered from his orbital surgery. Or not surgery. His orbital injury that he had. Because he didn't end up needing surgery. But either way. Tony Ferguson is going to be out for a little while. Conor McGregor wants to get straight back in there. He's not going to fight Charles Oliveira. Because no one knows who that is. Other than the hardcores of course. The hardcores know exactly who he is. But in terms of selling big ticket numbers. No one knows who that is. He's not going to fight Felder. He's not going to wait for the winner of Dan Hooker versus Dustin Poirier. He's not going to fight the loser of Gaethje versus Khabib because then he would be getting some sloppy seconds. So what, what, what's going on? He might be fighting Usman because I don't, I don't know. I just hope that that's not the case. I'm, I'm almost making a video here just to plead that that does not happen because that makes zero sense. Masvidal should be fighting for the belt, but because, it, you know, he's such a badass... He turns it down because he'd lose. But yeah, that's how I feel about the whole situation. It's just a little bit weird right now, to be honest with you. I have no idea what's fucking going on. Normally, I have a real guaranteed answer and a route to success in each of the divisions. But right now, Masvidal, the bad motherfucker himself, being a bitch and a duck, has ruined the entire structure of the welterweight division. Because they might end up actually giving a title shot to Woodley. And that's not going to sell any pay-per-views. And Usman would just ragdoll him again for five rounds. I, I, don't, I don't get what's going on. It might be Leon Edwards versus Kamaru Usman. That's the only answer I have. It might actually be Leon Edwards versus Kamaru Usman next. It might then be Masvidal versus Covington. I hope that they're not going to do a Nate Diaz rematch then. Maybe we can do Nate Diaz versus McGregor for the title shot, which is just fucking disgraceful in itself. Nate Diaz is not a title elimination bout. He never was. But either way, that's just the situation. I just thought I'd express my concern and anger and annoyance, just to add another word. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. I think Kamaru Usman would dismantle Conor McGregor. I think it's a stupid thing to do. So yeah, goodbye. Click that button there. See you later.